Hello students, today we will discuss about the scope and methods of biophysics. So, for, if we uh, discuss about the introduction of biophysics, what exactly the biophysics is? Biophysics is that branch of knowledge that applies the principles of physics and chemistry and methods of mathematical analysis and computer modeling to understand how biological system works, which means that physics and chemistry and math mathematics and biology these all branches are applied in order to understand biological systems uh, as mathematics physics biology and chemistry it is a modern interdisciplinary field of science leading to a new approach for our understanding of biological functions so if we go for the def exact definition of biophysics biophysics is a specialized sub area of biology it is a science of physical principles of life itself and biological systems. In short, we can say we are applying the formulas of uh, physics and mathematics in order to understand the important process of biology. Biophysics is an interdisciplinary science that explains the laws and principles of physics which govern various biological processes. Biophysics spans all levels of biological organizations from molecular scale to whole organism. So, if we go for the history of uh, biophysics, so it is advanced in disciplinary science. Uh, it comprises of physics, biology, chemistry and mathematics I, as I have already told you. The, it started nearly about 60 to 100 years back. In 1892, Carl Pearson identified the missing link between biology and physics and named it as biophysics. Later on, in 1943, Ar uh, Irwin Schrodinger got Nobel Prize in 1933 for his lecture series, What is Life? In 1946, Biophysics Research United King's College of London hired physicists to work on questions of biological significance. Morris Wilkins, Rosalind Franklin um, worked on X-ray diffraction for studying DNA structures. Later on, in 1953, Francis Crick then particle, was a particle physicist and turned into biophysicist at Cambridge and James Watson biologist identified the double helical structure of DNA. In 1957 the biophysical society was founded. So if we go for what are the discoveries of biophysics so biophysics identified the first law of thermodynamics, optical aspect of human eye, theory of learning, how we hear Brown's motion, osmotics process, non-equilibrium thermodynamics, discovery of x-rays. So we are, have uh, studied biophysics and what biophysics is. Then what are the scopes of biophysics, where we can apply it? Biophysics topics based on relative size of object molecular and subcellular biophysics, physiological and anatomical biophysics, and environmental biophysics. Then biophysical techniques and its application, general biophysical techniques, imaging biophysics, and medical biophysics. These are the three, three main branches. And biophysics applies the power of physics, chemistry, and math to understanding health preventing disease and inventing cures. Certain important diseases can be cured with the help of biophysics and applying biophysics to the process of uh, biology. So what is the molecular and subcellular biophysics in which the structure and conformation of biological molecules is identified, structural and functional relationships are identified, conformational ch changes of certain molecules is uh, worked on, ligand binding and intermolecular binding is identified, diffusion and molecular transport in cell, how it works is uh, studied, Membrane biophysics is the permeability of membrane and how the molecules are transported it is studied. The structure of DNA and nucleic acid is studied with the help of biophysics. Protein biophysics, how what is the folding and how the proteins are folded and they work and the energy levels all are studied with the help of biophysics. Energy flow and uh, bioenergetics so that how the ATPs are formed, the energy is transformed from one state to another thermodynamics of the particular cell, that how the energy is flown in a particular cell, statical methods, kinetics, molecular machines and allosterics. These all methods are studied under biophysics. So what are the roles of biophysics? Biophysics study life at every level from atoms and molecules to cell organisms and environments. Their work always aims to find out how biological systems works. 
how do protein machine works how do systems of nerve cells communicate how do proteins pack dna into viruses how do viruses invade cells how do plant harness sunlight to make food biophysical methods are techniques to study the structure properties thermodynamics or function of biomolecules at an atomic or molecular level then compass a range of techniques including microscopy spectroscopy electrophysiology single molecule methods and molecular modeling the ideal biophysical method would have the capability of observing atomic level structures and dynamics of biological molecules in their biophysical environment that is in vivo it would also permit visualization of the structures that form throughout the course of conformational changes or chemical reactions regardless of the time scale involved so what are the application of biophysical techniques these are like uh, ultra centrifugation electrophoresis size exclusion chromatography ultra centrifugation we all know that the particles are um, se separated on the basis of their sedimentation coefficient in case of electrophoresis we separate them on the basis of their charge and mass uh, under a particular electric field in size exclusion chromatography the particles are separated on the basis of their size in tightly packed gel beads and sedimentation based on gravity and sometimes pressure to trap some small molecules and allow the larger molecules to pass through the gel faster and the molecules later on spectroscopy uh, the um, spectroscopy is uh, done with uh, em radiation and measuring the intensity uh, direction and polarization of the emitted radiation only under the visible spectrum which is 380 to 750 nanometer and was used now as uv and ir radiation to em also absorption spectroscopy to find out the concentration of molecules in a particular solution that what exactly the concentration of a particular molecule is in that solution then fluorescence spectroscopy used to characterize the molecules and follow conformational transitions caused by absorption to one wavelength and emission at longer wavelength mass spectroscopy to measure mass or molecular weight of molecules X-ray crystallography to determine relative position of atoms and how they are arranged, which was used for to identify the structure of DNA and genetic material. Then NMR to obtain structural information about molecules of highest resolution using EM of radio frequency, which interacts with nuclear spin of atoms in a large magnetic field, causing them to jump between the spin rate and emit a different wavelength depending upon the local structure around the atom. Then electron microscopy. to view objects smaller size objects under um, which can't be seen with a light microscope we now we use uh, electron microscope for that and use sam and tam for them scale spectroscopy absorption spectroscopy as I, i have already discussed with you then current clamp is analogous to voltage clamp that prevent a clamped held constant and voltage change induced by cell measured Patch clamp is alternative to voltage current clamp that electrode is placed inside a micropipette combined with a gentle suction and electrically isolates a small patch on membrane and enables to study a single ion channel within the membrane measures calorimetry measures the cp or cv versus the transition thermal linkage binding